everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm going to be breaking down one of my most requested questions, aside from curly hair questions, which is, how do YouTubers get paid? I can't tell you how many times people ask me this, and I go, oh, I'm a YouTuber, and then they go, oh, like, you know, that's cute, you know, a little hobby, but like, what's your job? You would think that in 2019, you wouldn't really have to explain what an influencer is, but I mean, it's, it's okay if that's you. That's exactly why I'm making this video because there's a lot of people that are still confused. So yes, I do make YouTube videos full-time as my full-time job, meaning nothing else. When you first start your YouTube channel, there's a good chance you aren't gonna get paid initially. YouTube changes their rules all the time. The most current rule from YouTube, which I'm gonna read right here, is that you have to have at least 10,000 lifetime views to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months. So that means YouTube isn't gonna pay you until you reach a consistent amount of views. That wasn't always the case, but that is how it is now. So basically you can't just post one video every blue moon and get paid for. Like they really wanna see that you're gonna be consistent and like really be posting all the time to create a consistent revenue. Now YouTube is owned by Google. That's why anybody that has a Gmail account also has a YouTube account. And us YouTubers get paid by ads. Yes, <gasps> the word that you all hate. Loathe entirely. Hashtag ad. You know how a little ad plays before our videos? Well, if you skip that ad, that YouTuber will not get paid. You have to watch at least 30 seconds of the ad and or click on the ad for us to get paid. So we get paid per click and paid per view. I mean, sometimes they add those like 30 minute long ads before videos, like it's a movie before my 10 minute video. You don't have to watch all that and I appreciate those of you that write me and they're like, look, I'm trying to watch this ad for you, but it's 15 minutes long. Like that's, that's insane. Usually they're about 30 seconds. So if you watch the entire 30 seconds without skipping, we're good. And per click, I'm talking like cents. Like depending on your level of whatever, you get paid like four cents a click, two cents a click, five cents a view. It's very small amounts. We're not getting like $10 a view or anything. So it seems small, but obviously it adds up. So the three most common ways to make money on YouTube is one, by people watching your ads, by clicking on the ad, and or the amount of time they stay on your channel. So I recommend, if you are a YouTuber, put your videos in a playlist and put those playlists in a certain order. That way when people binge watch your channel, that also creates revenue. So the longer you stay on my channel, it tells the like algorithm like, hey, they're really liking this channel, they keep watching. The longer you stay on, the more money that creates for us. So a little pro tip for any of my YouTube friends, don't just post the link to your video, post the link from your playlist. That way people will hopefully watch one video and then they're gonna watch another and another and another and they go down the Bianca Renee Today wormhole. And not only does that create more revenue for me, that also means you're probably gonna have amazing curls by the end of the day. So that is how the Google YouTube ads work. That is why sometimes you now see a lot of YouTubers put ads in the middle of their video. Sometimes I see like three, four, five ads per video. I personally haven't done that yet. I'm just cool with like the ad at the beginning. I personally hate commercials. I know how you guys feel. I'm not gonna say that I'm never gonna do it because I might need that money, but I'm really trying not to stuff my videos with ads because it's just annoying and I know. Now for me, I wouldn't be able to go full time off of what I get just from YouTube and Google. I make my main income from sponsorships. Yes the second word that you guys hate the most. Some of you guys just hear the word sponsor and you're like, oh, she's lying. She's getting paid to say this, automatically done. Guys, there's a difference between being paid for something that you're doing versus being bribed for something, okay? Like people think that sponsorships mean, hey, I'm gonna give you money. You have to say this, this, and this, and this. No, no, no. It means, hey, we're gonna give you these products. Let us know if you like them, if you do. 
let us know and we'll pay you because you're creating a great video that's creating a lot of sales. But this video is actually going to be in two parts. This video is going to be how YouTubers get paid, but my next video is going to be the truth about sponsored videos. So stay tuned for that one because I'm going to really break that down and how some brands, <sighs> some brands are trying to play us. But anyway, sponsorships. That means that a brand is going to pay you to create a video, a Instagram photo, a tweet, whatever it may be, because they value your opinion, your content, or your creativity. So usually that brand will email you. They'll say that they have some new type of product or whatever that they think you might be interested in. And then you try it. And then hopefully the honest YouTubers like it. And then they make a video or picture, whatever it may be. And then after we post it, we get paid. Some of you might be thinking, how do you get sponsorships? Well, it's kind of happening all over the place now. Sometimes a brand will email me. Sometimes they'll DM me. Don't sleep on Instagram. A lot of brands are sliding in the DMs. But here's the little tricky situation that definitely happens in the beginning of your YouTube career. And even something that I deal with now is when should you give out free content versus waiting for it to get paid. If you are a new YouTuber, you definitely are gonna have to just start buying stuff yourself, reviewing it for free, reviewing stuff that you like for free, and then tag that brand in your photos, in your videos, send it to them, really try to get their attention. And if they notice that you're creating great videos, great photos, great content, they're gonna wanna work with you. Brands need us. Answer me this. How many times have you bought a hair product because of a TV commercial and how many hair products have you bought because of me? I rest my case. Brands are finally realizing that it's way more authentic to have your product explained by a person who actually would use that product, who would demonstrate that product and then genuinely recommend it. That means so much more to a person be like, hey, look how she used it. It worked for her hair. Her hair is like mine. She has oily skin like mine. It worked for her acne prone skin, like whatever it may be. It's so much better because we want real results. Then once you start building up a reputation, people start really trusting your opinion, your reviews, your subscribers or followers grow. Then that's when the brands are probably going to come around and be like, hey, what's your rate? How much should you charge? Oh, this is getting complicated. <sighs> this is still something that I and many YouTubers struggle with. We often like undersell ourselves because some YouTubers don't like to talk to other YouTubers and we have no idea how much one person is getting paid to the next. I personally am really open with my curl friends. Like I don't mind discussing my rates because there are times where I was charging like $500 for a video and then I found out I should have been charging thousands. Like I would have known that if it wasn't for my other people in the industry, share that information. So if you don't know what to do, I would recommend reaching out to someone with a following similar than yours. If you have 10,000 subscribers and you notice that someone posted a picture with hashtag ad, if you know them, maybe reach out and be like, hey, I'm new to this. I'm trying to figure out what, what my rate should be. What do you suggest? What do you charge? And then you can kind of get a better idea of the rate that someone is getting at your level. Don't have 5,000 subscribers and try to DM Patrick Starr asking about rates. Y'all are on two different levels. So find someone in your ballpark area that can give you a ballpark rate. But just know that it is very possible to make $500 on Instagram posts, even with a small following. You'll easily get to at least $1,000 for a photo. And sometimes you can get $10,000 for one photo. When you're in the millions of followers, you can get $24,000, $50,000. If you're Kim Kardashian, $100,000 for one photo. A photo, people. A photo. I definitely think you should be charging way more to create an entire YouTube video, which is filming, editing, your lighting, camera, sound. It's a lot more work than an Instagram photo. I much rather have been Instagram famous for the sake of convenience, but you should have a rate for your Instagram photos, for your Instagram stories, for your tweets, for your Facebook posts, and your YouTube. All of those things can create revenue. 
Another way YouTubers or influencers can make money is by having affiliate links. Sometimes brands will give that person a specific link and then every time that person buys something from their link, they'll get a small commission. Each brand works differently. It could be a percentage per sale or it could be X amount of dollars per sale. So anytime a YouTuber or influencer says, use the link in my description box, that's there for a reason. Don't just go to the internet and type in what you're looking for because that doesn't help the person that told you all about this product in the first place. So support your YouTubers and your influencers, use their link, it's the least you can do. And one of the last and most popular ways to make a lot of money being an influencer is by creating your own merchandise and or products. It could be something as simple as your own t-shirts, easy way to make money off of your brand, or you could do collabs like Desi Perkins and Key Australia, all her sunglasses are amazing. I bought them all. <laughs> Makeup Shayla, I Love Sarahi, like they all have collabs with ColourPop Cosmetics or maybe you create your own lipstick with one brand. Collabing with brands like that, those girls are getting a nice check per sale on their items. So even though I personally don't need any more makeup thanks to the PR that's sent to me. I still like to go out and buy a lot of the collabs that are with YouTubers just to support my industry. So yeah, there are definitely many ways to make money as a YouTuber influencer. It ain't for everybody. It's not as easy as it may appear. It does take a lot of time and effort to think of new videos and be creative and film every single day, upload all the time. If you are new to the YouTube influencer world, one website that might give you a general idea of how much you should charge is socialbluebook.com. I'll link that down below for you guys, but you type in your YouTube following, your Instagram following, and it'll give you an estimate on how much you should charge for a photo or a YouTube video. Now, since a YouTube or influencer's main source of income is their platform, this is why it's so important for all of you to leave comments or likes on whatever we're doing. Brands will look at that and be like, oh, she got this many likes, she gets this many comments, they wanna know about the engagement. It's not even that much about the followers because some people have like millions of followers and they'll get like 500 likes and it's like, do people even like you? So brands will look at that. So for anyone that's thinking about buying followers, it's not a good look. It's just gonna look really obvious, especially when all of your comments are like robots saying, you look beautiful, you look very sexy love this photo, you're not fooling anyone. Just work hard and the followers will come. So now you know, anytime you see hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored, don't get mad at that YouTuber. That just means that they were able to pay their bills that month. If you found this video informational, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because subscribes help. They definitely help in this YouTube world. And you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. Following on both platforms is ideal. And also don't be afraid to leave a comment. Say hi, like, let's be friends. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.